Hi everyone, it's Jojo. I am so excited to be bringing you my very first garage sale estate sale haul of the year. Since I had been sick, I, I had went to some thrift stores, but I haven't been able to go to very many garage sales, estate sales, and I will tell you, this weekend I went to one and I don't even know if I could top it. I got so many amazing deals and things. I cannot wait to show you. I actually, for the first time, have to divide this up into three separate videos. I filmed the second one already, excuse me, already, which is the jewelry portion. And it was actually too long to even add to this one. So I'm going to make it three separate videos. And I will try to make this quick. Um, just so I can stay within the time limit um, for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. The very first part of my video, part one, will be the cards and the books and miscellaneous. The second one will be a jewelry. And the third video will be my linens and my glassware, kitchenware part. So going to start with the cards that you're looking at now. This is probably my favorite find of all time so far. I absolutely am thrilled. So I went to an estate sale. Well, it was just called book sale. That's all it was called was book sale. And um, there were, it was the most amazing collection of books and things you had ever seen, ever. In fact, if they have another one, I will go back and do a recording for you. This collection was, we just stood in awe. In fact, I heard a, a couple of gentlemen talking and saying they will never forget the sale. In the barn, there was a couple of barns. There were actually about 50 tubs out on the lawn. And then in the barns, there was home, there was shelves that were made all around the wall, all the way up to the ceiling. They had library ladders that swung back and forth so you can look. I mean, it was absolutely stunning, the tens of thousands of books that were in there and the multiples. So in this tub, I saw these cards. I opened up a couple, like two of these boxes, and I just asked them how much they wanted for the tub. And they said $10. So all of these cards minus the birthday card, which I found at the top of the tub the second day that I went, um, were $10, everything. So a lot of these are range from the 80s, 80s, oh, sorry, range from the 40s to the 80s. These are ambassador cards, um, and they are still in their original plastic. These ones have about six in them. I would love, let me know if you want me to do a video of just the cards, because obviously I can't go through every one here in this video, and I kind of got to rush through it so I can fit within my time limit. But um, let me know if this is something that you would be interested in me just doing a video of these cards, because some of these are so cool. Um, a lot of these are more from the 50s and I know you know several of you like the greeting cards like I do this one I thought was great I could see my husband sending this to me a valent a valentine to my wife a million dollar baby and then in the inside it says and you're worth every penny of it and then he's sitting there with a disgruntled look on his face <laughs> it's a great one but um I mean these boxes are filled and like this one is the original box. This is feminine, 25, 10 cents. Look at the graphics on these things. They are, oh, I'm so excited. And there's multiples of everything. Everybody, somebody asked me if I was gonna craft with them. I don't know if I could, cause they're not signed and they were never used. Um, I would love to sell these in the future, you know, some of the multiples and then keep other ones for myself. The kitty is cute. It says time for no tail, happy birthday this and I this one was basically free because it was at the end of my second day order and um, she just threw it in we went the second day because the first day we were running out of time we went to a chubby checker concert which was amazing um, he did such a fantastic job but we were running behind going to it and it's an interesting fact it was in a place called Lakeside which was such a neat area I would love to take again a video there one of these days for you it has nothing to do with my channel but it was a really cool place I'm going to move on to the books here. I got a coloring book. This is United States, and it was 50 cents. All the states in it. This one, I think one page was co uh, colored, but most of that was unused. Here's a Doris Day, and this is pretty filled. There was definitely um, ones that were colored in it. Um, but you know I love Doris, so for 50 cents, I had to get that. 
I got some sheet music. I think I actually already had this one, but they were a dollar for all of them. Let's see. I got this Nelson poster book. You know, I love the Nelson family, and I actually have a whole scrapbook I had done of them um, back in junior high because I thought they were great. This was my band. I thought they were fantastic, um, and I recently seen the brothers. I told the lady in February for Christmas, but it was actually in December. I went to another concert earlier this year, so, but that was $2. Okay, so moving on over here, I did pick up some books, a lot, out of all the tens of thousands of books, um, mainly I was just looking, but I did pick up a few. This one's Joe's Boys, Louisa May Alcott, and I just love the cover of this one, and this one has Roman numerals for the date, so I haven't looked it up, but it is in the 50s, I believe. Same with this one, this is a Black Beauty. Let me see if I can find. There you go. And uh, I don't know if I can find it or not. I'm doing this one handed, so it's a little more difficult. But anyway, I thought these were neat. I thought they were the covers on them were pretty. And then I got this one, and this is Little Women. I hear that we're doing that um, an adaptation again of this book. There's been other ones done in the past, and I hear that they're doing another one. And this one is 1946. This is my favorite book that I got out of everything. Mary Alden's Cook, Cake and Cookie Cookbook for Children. And if I go back to the sale, if they have another one, I've seen where she has some, a, a couple other, at least one other one, and I'm definitely gonna look for it. Look at these colors in this book. Oh my gosh, it's so neat. And this one was 1956, so I will definitely be looking for that. And the book is in fantastic shape. Let me know, I'm actually thinking about doing a new series on my channel where I take an old, you know, a vintage cookbook and then I um, prepare a couple of recipes out of it. I just thought that would be fun because um, I have so many of these that it would be neat to actually go through the recipes with you guys and um, maybe make a few things. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in watching. It's an idea I had been tossing around, a Betty Crocker party book. There's several Betty Crocker books out there and I didn't have that one. Um, and these ones I think I paid 50 cents a piece for. And of course, since there was tens of thousands of books, nothing was marked, you know, they were just, when you bring them up to the table, they let you know how much Nothing was beyond five dollars in the barn. It was a dollar to five, and everything out on the lawn was up to a dollar. So, um, this is the Gone with the Wind cookbook. I was trying to look for more movie and TV theme type things, but um, I was only able to come across a couple. But I'm sure they were out there somewhere. Uh, the Joy of Cook, the Joy of Cooking. I have a newer edition, so I like this one because it was older. And this one is the. Let's see. This one is the 1946 edition. This one right here is pretty cool. This is Esquire cookbook and it's for the pioneering male, which I thought was really neat. And it has some really cool illustrations, very colorful. Whoops, I just passed one. Very colorful um, whoops, illustrations in it. And so I thought this one was kind of neat. I liked how it was geared. Um, to the male cook. Okay, That's, there's that one. And I got one more book. This one is the Better Homes and Gardens decorating book. I hadn't had this one yet and I knew it was out there. This is a fun one if you like decorating mid-century. It has a lot of different ideas and it shows you the way, you know, furniture was arranged and the different styles and it's really a cool one. It does have the original jacket on it. Um, I just took it off because it was in bad condition. I wouldn't be able to look through it without ripping it even more. I got a piece of fabric, uh, 1976 um, Bicentennial Celebration one. I just thought that was a, a neat one. I got these Denison seals. These are cowboy themed. And I got a couple buttons. 
for my two favorite baseball teams, uh, New York Mets, Cincinnati Reds, both 1990, and then a little collector's pin. So that is all that I'm gonna show you in this video. Here's the tub that they were in, all the cards, Valentine's cards. Um, and I am filming this in three different locations. I used to do my kitchen table, but obviously I have way too much stuff for that. So I'm gonna have the living room, my bedroom, and then maybe back to the kitchen table for the third video. Um, so anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love to have you here with me on my channel and leave a comment. Let me know if you want a separate video for the cards and if you, you know, think that a new series with the um, recipe books is a good idea. I would love your feedback on both of those. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next two videos. Bye.